Welcome back to Cocktails and Cuisines. I'm your chef, James Jens, from Dinners with Class in Wisconsin. And today we're making German food. We're gonna start by making either a rafter or a shanty, um, which is basically a summertime drink. It's beer into a cold glass. And then either some kind of sparkling citrus to cover. And that's it. And we're gonna garnish with a lemon wheel. And it's a great hot summer day cocktail. And when we come back, we're gonna do a seared tenderloin steak, braised, cider braised, red cabbage, and hot, making some spatzel. So we're gonna start with the thing that takes the longest to do, which is the braised cabbage. So in a, in a roasting pan, we're gonna take some shredded red cabbage, some julienne red onions, and then we're going to cut up an apple. We're gonna layer it in with the cabbage and the red onions. And then we're going to top it with some apple cider, a little bit of salt, pepper, and put it in the oven for about 25 minutes. And while we get everything else made, that'll be able to cook and we should probably be really close to being timed out that everything comes out together. A bit of salt. Three fifty in the oven, and then we can start on the spetzel. Okay, so in a bowl, we can add a little bit of all-purpose flour, a little baking soda, a pinch of salt, some pepper, and then. We're gonna use two eggs. We're just going to whisk the eggs. Combine a little bit of the, a little bit of milk. And combine. And we're gonna to try to make a slightly soft batter. Kind of the consistency of um, pancakes. You can always, if it's too thick, we can always add a little bit of water. If it's too thin, you can always add a little bit more flour. But this ratio is pretty close to what you are looking for. And if you want, you can add horseradish or cheese herbs, garlic. So this is just kind of what you're looking for. A little bit thicker than pancakes. It'll be a nice dumpling mix. Now we're ready to make the spätzle, and we have a pot of boiling salted water, a colander, and an ice bath. So all you gotta do is take some of your batter and push it through the colander. And as they fall into the water, they'll cook and make the dumplings that people know and love. And it takes three to four minutes of boiling in the water for them to cook. Then we'll just get all the solidly floating spätzle out of the water 
put them in the ice bath, cool them down, and then we'll, we, once we sear the um, tenderloin steaks, we can reheat them in the saute pan. Well, I'm just gonna be making some spetzel, and give me a few minutes to do that. When we come back, we'll have, we'll sear some beef tenderloin. So to, for the cooking medium, for the tenderloin and the spetzel, we're going to use um, bacon. So we're just gonna do lardoons or julienne strips of bacon. And we're gonna render it for a few minutes, get a little bit of fat to a hot pan. While that's rendering, we can cut a couple of medallions. And we will season them with salt and pepper. And just as long as there's a little bit of uh, the bacon grease on the bottom of the pan, we'll add the tenderloin. And we have our special and it's been draining. Get it nice and dry. And when we come back, we'll have finished tenderloin. I'll pull out the braised red cabbage and we'll plate. So we have the tenderloin seared. We're gonna keep the bacon and the drippings. And we're going to just quickly saute the spetzel. And while this finishes heating up, we put the cider braised red cabbage. In our bowl. Clean up the room a little bit. Just put a little bit of color onto the spetzel. Right in the middle of the cabbage. We can put our tenderloin on top. A German inspired steak dish with spetzel and braised red cabbage. This is James Jens wishing you happy eats from cuisines and cocktails and dinners with class to your, your kitchen.